Hi internet, this is a Frozen Synapse video and you'll know neither, you'll notice, you won't know, now you'll know, and you'll notice that neither of these people are me, they're Vanilla Bear and Mr. K. Both of those sound delicious. Vanilla Bear more so, but Mr. K sounds like Special K. That's a breakfast cereal. Um, this was the featured game, I sort of just, actually, I can show you. I go to the main menu, oh, someone wanted to play, too bad. Um, where did it go? Let's go to home. Here we go. Featured game. Vanilla K Mr. K versus Vanilla Bear. I don't know what featured means, but I'm just going to make a video about it, because why the heck not? Everything's public, guys. It's all hanging out for everybody to see. Wins against. Does this mean Mr. K has won seven times against Vanilla Bear? That explains why he's favored. Um, so, this is... Why can't we see Mr. K's stuff, but not Vanilla Bear's stuff? Is the game still going on? I don't know. Well, here's Mr. K's stuff. He's got a machine gun dude who he wants to move around the corner of this map and look up. He's got a rocket launcher dude who's going to shoot one of these two places. He's got a shotgun dude who's going to get out of this building and sneak around. And a rocket launcher dude who's going to shoot at shotgun man and GTFO. So, okay, whoa, 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 pause, what the fuck? Whew, okay, so shotgun man we now know is chasing rocket man. That's a song. There's a video on YouTube of William Shatner sort of doing Rocket Man. I, I'll try and link that in this uh, in this video. Um, Rocket Man is similarly running from Shotgun Dude. This seems to happen fairly often. Um, immediately at the beginning of these Dark Extermination matches where you start mixed up, um, you got to get your Rocket Dudes away from whoever's near them because they have very little to defend themselves. Um, they don't have a sidearm or anything. I see a lot of people suggesting sidearms in the Frozen Synapse forums that I think would complicate the game too much. I mean, come on. Right now you have very simple, very clean game mechanics. I don't want like a button to switch to pistol for your RPG dude, and that's a bunch of bullshit. Anyways, um, it looks like these two guys are trading rockets. Well, not really trading rockets. Um, I wonder if this is going to hit and save. No, I think shotgun guys. Well, we'll see. It looks like this guy actually might escape around this corner, and then that's going to be bad news for Shotgun Guy, because this rocket's going to hit and kill him. Um, anyways, this guy's trying to take out Rocket Dude, but it looks like Rocket Dude's too far away, and these guys are probably going to shoot it out. Oh, 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 that was messy. Let's watch that again. All right, so Rocket Dude is safe and Machine Gun Dude is safe. Shotgun or er, Rocket Dude bit it from Shotgun Dude, but Shotgun Dude bit it from Rocket Dude, and um, Shotgun Dude also took out Rocket Dude. So that leaves us with Rocket Dude and Machine Gun Dude versus Machine Gun Dude, Rocket Dude, and Shotgun Dude. That's their actual names, by the way. Their parents named them with surprising prescience. Um, some people got named like Flower Dude, and surprisingly enough, they did not become soldiers. Let's see. Um, well, let's see what their plans are, because we can also analyze plans while we're watching this. What did that button do? William wants to... No thanks, making a video. Um, man, that guy wants to play with me a lot. We must be friends or something. Um, stop. I don't want... I want to click on the red people. Oh, hold on. What is going on? Whatever. Okay, whatever. I want to click on the red people and see their plans, but that's not working. So, we'll just click on the green people and see their plans. Um, he's still going out, um, I guess because he figures if this guy goes, ah, stop doing that, what does that mean? I guess if he figures, well, let's watch. Unit down. So let's watch that again. Um, this guy, his plan was to, I guess, he's not moving at all, is he? No, he's just, he's just hanging out, but, um, so he, yeah, he's hiding behind that box, um, back to the beginning of this turn. Um, stop. What? The only problem I have with Frozen Synapse is this whole playback, turn, rewind, moving UI thing is really unintuitive. I don't know. It's Maybe it works perfectly fine once you figure out what the fuck it does, but um, none of these buttons ever seem to do quite what I want them to do. Like, why, do, why does a turn have to start immediately when I click on it, but when I hit back, sometimes it goes to the last turn, and sometimes it goes to the first turn, and some sometimes it I think this should go to the beginning of turn two, because if I want to go to the beginning of turn two, I have to go to turn two and pause it really fast. Anyways, um, Rocket Dude, what was his plan? He was just going to run away and then sort of nail this wall and hopefully catch Rocket Dude on the other side of the wall. And then Shotgun Dude has a very simple plan, obviously, just come around the side. See how that works. Rocket Dude.
dude, rocket dude, now the rocket dude gets each other, but um, yeah, rocket dude really should probably not have continued in that direction, because if we look, um, well, he wanted to be out in the open so he didn't get hit by rocket dude, but I don't know. If Either way, if machine gun dude had gone to the left or had gone to the right, that would have left him free to shoot rocket dude, so... I don't know, maybe not the best idea, but um, now we have Machine Gun Dude sneaking around the... Now we have a more or less even game, but I think it's probably in favor of Red because Rocket Dude um, is very, very powerful when he has some sort of backup in the form of Machine Gun Dude to keep him from getting bum-rushed, because the ability to blow open walls and do some splash damage is really powerful. Like, if I were him right now, I'd just be chucking a rocket into here, and this guy's going to have to am scray to get out before he gets nailed by Rocket Dude, probably. And that's what he proceeds to do. And he makes it out. And um, unfortunately, Shotgun Dude showing a surprising lack of prescience, having known Machine Gun Dude is out here, is still facing in this direction. And the only way that makes sense is if he expected Machine Gun Dude to rush into this room, which also makes zero sense because he must have been expecting Rocket Dude to shoot a rocket into the room. So, uh, miscalculation, I would say, on the part of Mr. K should. No, thanks. Should, um should be kind of looking in this direction, or at least checking in this direction, because, um, yeah. And <laughs> also, Machine Gun Dude, um, hoping to catch, I think, this Machine Gun Dude run out, but given that he's behind this corner, um, he must have been, he either planned it so that he'd end up behind this corner, or he knew he his turn would progress so that he didn't make it all the way across the corner. Um, either way, should have known that unless Machine Gun Dude made it all the way out here, he wouldn't be able to shoot him, and the chances of that are very low, because Machine Gun Dude is running from behind this box, so that takes a while to get out there. So really should have at least checked for Shotgun Dude. Um, although, to be fair, no, 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 he was expecting Shotgun Dude to come out of this door. Okay, that's much better. So Red is looking pretty good, and doing what he should, pulling this guy away, although it looks like he's getting hit and nailed, unfortunately, by Machine Gun Dude. We'll have to watch. He does get nailed, and Shotgun Dude checks and nails him. So, yep. Good job, Mr. K. It looks like Shotgun Dude checked just in time, and that was the featured game. I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. What could either of player have done better? Um, let's see. Uh, pause. <laughs> um, let's. What happens to Rocket Dude down here? Okay, so so Rocket Dude was aiming to hit this wall. He was expecting Shotgun Dude to go in here. Um. You know, maybe not a bad choice, but I would always focus on self-preservation number one. Like, assume they're trying to kill you, not that they're trying to do some sort of weird tactical flank and catch nobody because you don't have any units here. Um, so, I would have gone for self-preservation over trying to preserve Shotgun Guy and sort of blown a blown up this wall, just move a bit this way and blow up this wall, hope to catch this guy. So, I don't know, maybe it would have worked, maybe it wouldn't, but obviously what he tried did not work. Um, Rocket Dude up here, where did he fire? Rocket Dude fired down. Tried to catch other Rocket Dude. Well, I don't know. Not a bad idea. There's not much else he could have done. Maybe shoot over here, try and catch Shotgun Dude, or try and angle down through the window into here, but I would have been worried about other Rocket Dude. So yeah, not a bad choice. And Machine Gun Guy, yeah, fairly simple. And good... Well, what did what did Green do with Rocket Dude up here? Yeah, he did... He feel, well, no, he didn't do the only thing he could have done. He really should have nailed this wall, not this wall. Nailing this wall wouldn't do anything. Nailing this wall probably would have caught that guy before he shot him. So that was a mistake, I think. I don't know. Boom. Boom. Yeah, if that had blown up... Well, okay, no, because he was using this rocket dude to nail that wall. But is this rocket dude really the best person to nail that wall? Because this guy could have easily just fired a grenade, or a rocket, and then run. This rocket dude could have easily just shot up, and would that have caught second rocket dude? Maybe. Probably not, but he could have tried. Um... Yeah, I think he should have tasked his rocket dude over here to do that. So um, this guy would have been free to do something else. And yeah, everything looks good from there. Let's try turn two. Boom, boom. Nothing to really complain about there. Although pausing rocket dude in the open maybe not the best, as we've already talked about. And then this guy maybe should have checked a bit. But other than that, good game. So very well played from both players. And I hope everybody had fun, including the players.